A very merry day to all of you. Welcome to Backlog Gamers. My name is Dan, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yes, this is the game that you get when you use Sonic and Knuckles' lock-on technology and place the Sonic 3 cartridge on top of Sonic and Knuckles. You get the ability to play as Knuckles in Sonic 3. Uh, Sonic 3 is, by itself, a, uh, the standalone game, is quite fantastic anyway because you can play as Sonic and Tails, or s just Sonic by himself, or even Tails by himself, which is really fun. But we're going to play as Knuckles because that's really cool. We're going to show off a little bit of the lock-on technology. So let's kick things off and enter Angel Island Zone, the place that has the Master Emerald and you can also call it Knuckles' home. I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you're doing very well wherever you may be in the world. Herrick and Chuck could not join me for this Let's Play because it's extremely hot outside, and uh, if we were in the same room, the heat exchange between all of us would be astronomical, and we'd probably die. So, 15 seconds into the level, we are welcomed into the uh, bonus stage, well, special stage. And this is just a little minigame, you have to collect all the blue spheres and dodge the red ones. If it looks as easy, if it looks this easy, well, sometimes it gets a little challenging because uh, the level speed speeds up, as you'll see in a couple seconds. Probably notice right there. Well, you're not playing, but you probably s notice that Knuckles went a little faster. The turning is also, if you've never played this before, the turning can get very, very tricky. But after you've played it a couple times, you kind of gain mastery of it. It becomes second nature, almost. It's like you got a command. You have to enter your commands in advance before doing so. And this should be an easy, easy collection here. One, two, three, four. And we are greeted at the end with... A Chaos Emerald. Green one, too. Master Emerald's green. Might be a sign. Will we go for all seven Chaos Emeralds? I think so. Let's aim for that, my friends. There are differences when you uh, pop in Sonic 3 on top of Sonic and Knuckles, the cartridge. Personally, uh, Knuckles, of course, can glide. You can't do that with Sonic or Tails. So... Playing Sonic 3 becomes way more fun. Let's get this one up over here. I always found it funny that climbing the uh, trunk of that tree is just, you know, just kind of going around it. And who might this be? Oh, I'm going to go ahead and guess it's Robotnik. Um, Angel Fire turns on fire the entire island is burnt up bonus stage you get this when you get 30 or more rings and hit one of those goal posts and jump into the stars this is my least favorite bonus stage though I'm not a fan of it because controlling it's very difficult always 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 I always had problems with that as a kid and hell I still do now as you saw right there music in this game of course Fantastic, just like all the music that Sega produces. The magnetic shield power-up just attracts the rings towards you, and yes, those blocks there can be broken if you play as Knuckles. Sonic and Tails cannot break them. Ah, I forgot to drop the fire. Quick, easy boss there. And then uh, this comes out, you can bounce that a couple times, get 100 points. If you want to increase your score, and even if you if you hit it uh, a couple times too, you also get a special power up. It's random at times, I believe. Let's try to aim. Oh no, that's it. Oh, the invisibility. Nice. So we'll start off next act with a little bit of in invincibility. So this is Act Two of Angel Island Zone. And since we're locked on into Sonic and Knuckles, you get the invincibility music from Sonic and Knuckles, not the one from uh, Sonic 3. Huh. 
There are differences between uh, the standalone Sonic 3 game and Sonic and & Knuckles. Firstly, the uh, stages are different. If I was playing as Sonic or Tails, we wouldn't have been that little underground. We would have already been underwater. Uh, there's a little switch that you have to flip and the water gets strained out and then you can continue with the stage. This is the jackpot bonus stage. Um, I have the opportunity of getting a bunch of rings here if you hit the jackpot. It's all random though. You can't actually manually stop the, uh, let's say, slot machine when you'd like it to. Let's see if I hit start, it pauses the game. If you bump into one of those goals, well, the bonus stage ends. And you go back into the act or the zone. Ooh, no, I thought I was going to be able to dodge that and hit it. Close, though. Very close. I always liked doing this as a kid. My friends and I would just bounce around and... Just look at Knuckles go. Just wait till you do that with a red bumpers. Give you an eye strain for sure. Oh, dang it, that one got me. Oh, like you can do it with this one. But it reminds me in uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Whoa. In Hilltop Zone, there's a... Uh, I can't go back. There's a bumper. Bumpers that are placed very close to each other. And the bouncing is crazy. Oh, that's nice. One hit. Glide right back to safety. Gotta dodge the fire, quite easy to do so. As I get hit, of course. Yeah. Sure is easy, Dan. Oh no, I was trying to hit him before I got hit. But that'll do anyway. You can still die if you jump down. Of course I'm not gonna do that. And Knuckles is safe at home base! So that was act two. That does it for Angel Island Zone. Next up, the beautiful city of water. It's time for Hydrocity Zone. Or Hydro City Zone. Not too sure how to pronounce that. I always called it Hydrocity. Just because it sounds a little cooler. Now, when you play as Knuckles, you don't have to flip that switch and go through all the water. You can just climb. Climb, 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 because you're an echidna. And echidnas can climb walls. Mysterious hand boosts me up. My favorite thing about uh, this zone is the music. Just the way it starts. Bam! Oh, and he's safe into that one up. 50 rings halfway towards a. Uh, one up, as you see, I hit that goal post. Yes, but I was going super fast. Not gonna halt the brakes. I'm gonna hit something, aren't I? Oh, that barely saves me. And hey, oh, that stupid car reminds me of Putt Putt. But Putt Putt, remember those games, guys? Putt Putt's not set out to kill me. Oh, I love this bonus stage. Just my favorite because you hit this and you get a myriad of opportunities to get. Uh, uh, power ups. Of course, I'm not gonna go with fire because we're in uh, a water zone, and if I hit the water, that's just. won't be very good. <laughs> Will it now? If you keep bouncing, you can, uh. get a one up, of course, which helps. Those silver, uh. these are. 10 rings. Oh, and I just hit that bouncy thing. And got sent down. But hey, we got a, uh. got the rest of my 100 rings there. So we got a free life. We got an extra life. Shield, I believe, yep. Yeah. Will disappear underwater. Water's good. Water power up is very good. That way you don't drown. Flip this switch, go up here.
And hey! A special stage! 127 blue spheres. Can we do it? Let's give it a shot. I always enjoy this one because there's no uh, crazy loops like the first one that we saw there, so it's just pretty much straightforward. Left, right, left, right. Rings appear if you do the pattern a certain way. Of course, if you do it in the easiest way, it always pops up. Rings just award more points at the end. And if you get 100, of course, you get an extra life. There, we're already at 76. The count is uh, slowly trickling down, slowly depleting itself. Ooh, this one's gonna be a little bit, a little painful. I'm gonna do this and exit, and come on back here, re-enter, do this, and I am so fuck no! It turns into rings. Oh. oh, oh. See, I would have suspected it turned into rings because that was a. Uh, you know, that was pretty much suicide right there. I hit that bouncy ball and just bounced right on back into a, uh... Into a red... Sphere. The red sphere's kill. So I kinda... Kinda had the feeling that a ring might appear, but, uh... I, was, I still played it safe. So that's our second Chaos Emerald. One for each stage so far. Not too bad, not too bad. We are loaded 136 rings so far, and another bonus stage. Of course, it's not the one I enjoy, but um, let's see if we can possibly get 64 more rings. Another life wouldn't hurt. Bounce off that. Use that, and there's 10. I'm going quite high here. Bounce off this. Uh, knuckles and jump up. Keep bouncing up. Oh no, I'm going. No, I propel myself the opposite way. And man, if I kept going, I probably would have reached that 200 ring mark. So I'm at 179 now, and I got this very annoying boss coming up. Which way is he gonna go? Left, right? I'm not too sure. I don't remember. It's gonna be this way. I'm gonna jump over here. Ah, luckily I had my shield. I'm gonna get hit. Did not have good control of Knuckles there. And when you do this, you don't wanna get sucked into that. It's not gonna hit you, but when you land again, it'll make you a little dizzy. Unless you uh, control Knuckles very well. And that's actually gonna do right there. And unfortunately, I lose all of my 176 rings. It's quite alright though. So Act 1 of Hydro City Zone is finished. Let's go into Act 2. Music changes uh, between all the acts, so that's kind of nice, kind of refreshing. Very good job by uh, Sega and the Sonic team there. So, what I have to do here... Oh, I did not get a good start. I did not get a good start. I did not get a good start. And I'm panicking. I am panicking. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That wall is slowly approaching. And one more here. There we are. As a kid, that is frightening. Probably the most scariest thing in this game. <laughs> I was being crushed by a wall. Take me hand! Speed me up! There we are. If I had gotten that 10 ring box, it would have been at the bonus stage. There's Putt Putt trying to kill me. He propelled really high up. <laughs> good, good slide. Dodging Putt Putt. And I get. To hold my 54 rings here. We keep traveling. I'm quite fast gliding through the water. 
84 here. I think there's a ring box over here. I'm not... Nope, there's a free life, though. Woo! So we're at 8 so far, guys. 8 lives. Very safe position to be in. Speed me up. 92. 8 more to go for another life. Let's see here. Invincibility. Spring. And this is gonna do it. Another life. A total of 9 lives now. So guys, we are rocking and rolling. We are susceptible to any deaths. And can I make it up there? No, I can't. Can't climb up here. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Oh lord. Oh lord! I could not get up on that. Well, <laughs> hey, those are that's what lives are for. But unfortunately, I get sent back all the way over here. get his revenge on me that time. He's gonna say, Dan, I'm gonna hit you that time around. You are not going to kill me. Five rings there. Oh, and I do another good slide, but it's not good enough as I kill Putt-Putt, but he kills me immediately. Go on up here. And by the way, this is not a tool assisted speedrun or anything like that. This is just regular playing. I wonder if this life is here. Yes. So actually, it's like well, it's like we didn't lose anything. It's like we didn't lose anything, guys. We are back to nine lives. Ready to continue rocking and rolling. Of course, I'm at 15 rings now and not the uh, 96 that I was before. 94, rather. So let's see. Can't do anything there, but there's a hole here! I, I did see that hole before, and we are back to another special stage. This is actually one of my favorite special stages. I always remembered it because of uh, the cream color. Reminds me of cream ice cream, which I don't enjoy very much, but um, a lick or two is very tasty. little gates there of just two spheres and it's a nice gentle stage just gotta remember the stage does speed up and you have to be on par and ready to turn to make those dire important turns fifty two left I believe we're halfway are going to infuse you a little bit. 44 now. Going to the little gate. I like to think of them as gates because they'll take you to the next, like, kind of sort of place where the blue spheres are located. Four, and once you collect them, you know not to go back there. So it's kind of almost straightforward, so to say. Wow! Close there. 20 more to go. And we'll have our uh, third Chaos Emerald. This should do it here. If I don't mess up, and I won't, and we have our third Chaos Emerald. Woo! Nice score there, and um, a little bit of the, the ring bonus helps too. Back to the stage we go. Ah. The place where I formerly died, yes. If you're not, I am an echidna and I do not need these little wall things I can just climb. Oh, no! No, I'll need you! I'll, I'll need you, I'm sorry! I'll need you to get up here. There we are. Get some invincibility. Propel me up! Be patient here, you gotta go to the max limit that it takes you, because if not, I'll just fall off like you saw me do right there. I'm not right there, a little bit four. And the shark is gonna. Come on, give me a ring, give me a ring. Well, I have to play it safe here. Putt Putt's trying to kill me. Do you like that nickname I gave him, Putt Putt? Or maybe evil! Put put wow that shark. I'm very accustomed to seeing that shark there. But um 
With no rings, it's quite scary. There we are. Gliding over the water, the surface of the water. Oh no. Could have gone up there, it's just an alternate way to get through the stage. It's quite alright. Climb up here. And normally, if you were been playing Sonic in 3, that would be the end of the stage right there as Knuckle laughs at you and you get taken to Dr. Robotnik. But with this one, you gotta climb a little bit more. Actually, no, we're not near the uh, end of the stage just yet. Oh, now we are, because we have this long spike pick. Word of advice, don't jump from here. You might think, oh, that works out best, but um, it's nice to get over here because you get much more air. But if you want to get the rings, of course, you have to jump from up here. It's kind of set in that pattern. But, no, nope, you get very low. See? That's why you don't do it there. Gotta ricochet off the top. Your head bounces off the top, and then you go down. So, I like to do it from over here, this little purple square. And you collect all the rings there, too. Play it safe, as these wall things might kill me. Nope, nope, not too bad there. It looks like you only have to collect 20 rings, not a... Uh... Looks like you only have to collect 20 rings there, and not a... Uh... Oh, this might be a Robotnik, no. Twenty-three. The end of the stage is coming up. I'm gonna see if I can pull out a hundred. Ooh, close, close. I think if I collect all the rings around the, uh, the stage, I should have enough. Eighty-nine. There should be eleven scatter around the stage. Two more, two more, and then I'll exit. Come on. Come on! Oh, that works too. I didn't have to get those two specifically, but uh, that works out fine. Alright, so this is the boss. This is the boss. You can hop on that and then jump up, but so oh, there I just missed it. The secret here is to when he drops these little uh I used to think of them as smoke grenades, when he drops these you wanna jump and propel yourself upward so you can hit him. You can even do it twice like you did like you saw there. But basically when that occurs you just wanna run away from it. Just you know, glide away from it. It's not gonna suck you up. Hop on here, hit him once. This is when you have to hit him eight times and you have to calculate this fantastically or else you're gonna get hit by that and I really really want to keep these 104 rings oh I just missed them there I just missed them there very very close it's gonna be a hit and two, and three, and whoa! I almost tried to glide, but this should be the last one there. Beautiful. I end the stage with 104 rings. Took my time. Hydrocity Zone is done. Nice, nice ring bonus there. And my friends, I will meet you in the next part of this Let's Play series where we're going to be venturing towards the beautiful grasslands of Marble Garden Zone. This is Dan from Backlight Gamers. I'll be right back!